If you head down the Wakaiva Trail in Seminole County, you'll come across hundreds of paintings, pop culture icons, fallen heroes, you name it. Yes, and as you pass by, you probably wonder, where did they all come from and why are they there? It's all from a local artist. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona is live at that trail right now in Longwood and Carolina. We can see some of the artwork there behind you. Stunning work there. That's right. I have to say that this is pretty impressive. Now, the joggers and also people that come out here on their bikes to, you know, take a, a walk will not only enjoy the view from the vegetation, but also they'll get to see some of their favorite artists and celebrities that, you know, we've seen growing up on the small and big screens. But I actually found a local celebrity. His name is Chi Chi. And it says right there that he is Longwood's favorite crossing guard. Now, the artist started this whole idea in 2012, and he says that it doesn't compare to what he gets out of it today. Six years ago, Jeff Sonskin was struggling to find work, so he turned to his hobby, painting. I started out doing this to irritate people. I was frustrated. I had a bad attitude. For three months, I was just really trying to instigate people with the art out here. His paintings along the Seminole Wakiva Trail in Longwood did have an impact, but on him. I think I was trying to uplift myself. In hindsight, I realized almost like a couple years later it didn't dawn on me, but if you look at all the, almost all the paintings have quotes on them and they're all positive. The first two years, Jeff mainly painted requests from residents and people that follow him on social media. Many of those creations are iconic pop culture characters and artists. There's also an educational mural with animals for kids to learn about. But the ones Jeff constantly thinks about are the portraits of first responders and service members. I feel like those are the true heroes. I don't know, some soldier gets killed overseas and nobody ever remembers their name. We glorify basketball players and musicians and stuff, and we don't know the names of the police officers or the servicemen have died, you know, protecting people. He honors many of Central Florida's fallen along Ronald Reagan Boulevard. Jeff recently paid tribute to the Queen of Soul, the late Aretha Franklin, and Anthony Bourdain. It's a passion he embraced as a kid. It's just something that when I felt inspired and I had to get it out of me, I through these phases where I would sit in my room and just paint for weeks. What started as a way of making his voice heard is now a place people enjoy along this trail. I never really, I guess, um, had that kind of experience before where I felt like I was doing something positive for people and I really liked the way it made me feel. Well, I've benefited the most from this whole experience and maybe that's why I keep going. Well, definitely a positive uh, way of expressing himself. Right now, you're seeing a few images of some baseball players. We also see uh, Armando Maradona. He's a famous Argentinian soccer player. Of course, for all you Star Wars fans, we have Princess Leia, Han Solo. And next to Charles Chaplin, if you see, there's an image of Malala. She is the Pakistani girl who, back in 2012, was shot in the head by the Taliban, if you recall. And now she is a young female activist for education and also for uh, women rights as well and it's definitely a really nice view down here um, the artist tells us that so far nobody from the community or the city has complained about his paintings so that's really great news for him and also none of this artwork has been destroyed uh, you know maybe by graffiti or something like that Bridget really beautiful so Carolina just out of curiosity who's his favorite artist Actually, Salvador Dali is one of his favorite artists. He's really enjoyed his paintings. And one more little thing that I want to mention is that some of the paintings that he's done across over, over the years for the service members to honor them, he's actually going to donate them to the uh, DFW in Winter Springs. So that's, that's a really nice thing that he's going to do later on um, this year. What a great job. Thank mm. you, Carolina.